Alright guys, so this is easily the hardest video I've ever had to make on my channel. And the reason I've been putting this video off for pretty much two years now was because I could not sit down and film this video without crying. And I literally just finished crying like 10 minutes ago because I saw this in my Snapchat memories and it's just the saddest thing ever. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like even in my voice, like it's just the saddest thing to me in the world because Max was like... The greatest thing that's ever happened to me like he was like always with me and just like he would never let me down like i don't understand if you guys know these dogs like these dogs are meant to like be your best friend and just do anything to protect you and when you feel safe with someone or something like that like you just never want to like leave them and something like that like it's the hardest thing in the world but I want to explain this a little bit more, guys, because I know everyone's having questions. Like, some of you guys don't even know who Max was. But if you guys have been watching my channel for three years now, right, I'm going to sit down, guys. All right, guys, I want to say something before we get into this video. I know you guys are expecting the Karen video to be uploaded today, but it's been a year. It's like my one-year anniversary since I posted my first video with Max, and I wanted you guys to know what happened to him because I haven't said anything, and it's been two years, and I think you guys deserve to know. But yeah, I just got too emotional every time I try to talk about it. Like, I would just bawl my eyes out. I'll upload the Karen video next. I just wanted to let you guys know more about where he is and what's going on with him so enjoy the video guys show us some love on it guys it'll really mean a lot to me just drop a like subscribe with notifications on i'll be posting the current video next just please show us some love it'll really mean a lot to me guys because this video really is the saddest video i've ever had to make by far and it's just terrible so yeah guys enjoy the video make sure you watch till the end because a lot of important things are said that i don't want you guys to miss like i don't want you guys to judge me about this like please just understand me and it was the best decision for max and for us as a family so enjoy the video guys Alright guys, so it's been another like 5-10 to 10 minutes, I think we all know why, but um, basically before we get into like the reason why Max isn't with us anymore, I want to tell you guys more about Max for the people that don't know Max and stuff like that. So I'll put a picture of him on the screen right there. Max is basically like my first ever dog that was mine. We have a little dog named Major, I'll put a picture on the screen right there for you guys. That is Major, he's still with us, we still have him. And then I also recently got Cash about a year ago. Cash is on the screen right there guys. So yeah, those were my three dogs, but first it was Major, and then a couple of years later we got Max. And the reason I'm making this video now, guys, is because I got a memory on my Snapchat about Max. Max it's the saddest down. thing ever, guys. Give me a goosebump just know, listening please. to this video. No. It's just so sad and just seeing Max. I posted my first ever video with Max three years ago today. And he was just the cutest little thing ever. Like, look at this video, guys. Look at him just, like, just breaking the little thing I got him, but yeah, as you could tell, Max was like my best friend, guys, like, I feel like I have to make this video about him because it's been three years since I got him, and basically it's just the most asked question I have on my channel is what happened to Max, like, I'll go live on YouTube and people will donate money so it pops up on the screen and it says, what happened to your dog Max, and I'll just ignore it because I don't want to talk about it because if I talk about it, I'll literally cry about it, like, letting go of Max was like the hardest decision I've ever had to make my life, like, easily the saddest thing ever, and it still brings tears to my eyes today, like, I still cry about it maybe even once a week like i just cry myself to sleep just like wondering where he is and just like what's happening to him but i'll get into that more in a second guys but basically if you don't know i got max three years ago i'll put a picture but yeah guys i'm filming this video on october 13th i got max i think i got max three years ago two days ago from today so it was like october 11th three days after my birthday it was a birthday gift to myself i bought him and everything it was technically my parents birthday gift to me because i was begging them for so long to let me get this dog and one of the reasons i did get this dog was because jake paul got a similar dog they're belgian malinois they're police dogs they're attack dogs they're military dogs like they're bred to literally kill people guys like they're crazy dogs and if you don't train them right they'll kill anybody but the owner like i was the owner i was his master they will try to kill anybody that comes near me he's attacked my dad twice he's attacked my brother he's attacked my mom he's attacked everybody in my family besides me so that's pretty much the reason we had to get rid of him guys but the reason i got max was because of Jake Paul. Jake Paul doesn't have his dog either now because I assume his dog was extremely aggressive and was attacking everybody and too much to handle. They're very big liabilities because if a dog attacks another person that's not in your family, they will sue you for every single thing that you have. They will sue you for your house. They will sue you for all your cars. They will sue you for every money that you have in your bank account. But I'm going to get more into that in a second, guys. But basically, that was the reason I got Max was because Jake Paul had it and they were just super cute dogs. And I did a lot of research. I knew a lot about them. We got him trained. I spent $10,000 training him. Oh boy. Yes, you're free. Good boy. For the most part, let's see if we can have some fun with it. Come on, man. Max, sit. Good. Max, free. Good. Max, clap. Good. Max, free. Good. Max, down. Good down, buddy. Max, place. Good place, bud. 
but unfortunately the training did not stop his aggression because he was the most aggressive dog I've ever seen in my life. Anybody that went near him, the first day we got him, I slept next to him, my dad came in my room, and Max immediately started growling and barking at my dad, like very nasty, like very scary, because my dad was wearing a hat, that's it. So yeah, he almost attacked my dad literally the day after we got him. But yeah, he was overall just an insanely aggressive dog, and I have more stories I'm going to tell in this video of the reason leading up to why we had to give him away. So basically, we got Max October 11th, 2017, I'm pretty sure, and we had to give him away, I think, like six to eight months later, because we got him trained for two months. He went to boarding to get trained. Very amazing, very great listening dog, but I don't think a lot of you guys know what these dogs can do and what they're capable of. So yeah, we sent him to training, hoping that he would come back a little bit less aggressive, because that was in the back of our minds. He hasn't attacked anybody before we sent him to training. When he started coming back from training, he was getting bigger, and it's in their blood to literally just like, that's what they want to do. They want to bite and kill. I would work this dog like crazy. Like, I'm an amazing dog owner, guys. Like, I'm not just trying to say that so I don't get hate. Like, I have cash now, guys. Cash. I walk him at least three times a day, two miles each walk. And I'll take him on my boost board so he runs. And sometimes I'll even walk him up to six to seven times a day. He loves it. And that's what, exactly what I did with Max. I would walk him maybe even eight to ten times a day. We would never even let him in our backyard. We would just walk him so we would get a ton of exercise. But no matter what, this dog just wanted to kill. Like, all he wanted to do was just bite and kill. And one day something really bad happened. We like lost control over him. I'm the only one that could really stop him when he has these like manic episodes where like he just goes crazy and wants to attack and kill people. And one day he got off the leash and he went right for my dad, bit my dad in his arm, bit my dad, I think by his neck. I don't know where, but this dog just wanted to kill my dad for whatever reason. Even though we all treat him like a king, he just wanted to kill my dad because it's just in their blood that's what they want to do and i have a picture of what he did to my dad's arm i'll put it on the screen but i'm pretty sure i have to blur it because it is very graphic like there were deep cuts like very very bad my dad had to like super glue it shut like it was very very bad and yeah guys so that happened that was very disgusting as you could tell by the blurred image i'm sure you guys know what it would look like unblurred and that was when he was like i think four months or five months old imagine what he's capable of doing if he was a year old so yeah we did that my dad's like i don't know if we could have his dog anymore like this is getting very insane but leading up to him attacking my dad he's tried to attack my dad, my mom, and my brother plenty of times before, but I've managed to stop him. But that time, he was too powerful. Like, my dad was trying to, like, get him off him, and I was, like, grabbing by the collar, like, because I'm the only one that could stop him. Like, he won't bite me. I could put my hand by his mouth while he's in, like, an insanely attackative mood or whatever, and he won't bite me, because I'm his master, and I'm the only one that could stop him. And even though he was biting my dad, my dad was trying to fight him off him. I was just so worried about Max getting hurt. Like, I did not want my dad to do anything to Max, because he was literally trying to kill my dad. My dad didn't harm him, guys. Don't worry. Nothing like that. I managed to get him off him safely. And yeah, guys, it was just very insane very intense and then fast forward a couple weeks later max actually bit my brother really hard like somewhere and made him bleed i don't think we have a picture anywhere but he got my brother and my dad's like all right well, that's enough like your brother's a kid like your dog can't be like trying to kill people like it's insane and it was honestly just a pain in the ass having to like have to worry about my dog attacking my friends like we had to keep him in the cage and all this stuff like it was absolutely insane like we had to constantly constantly worry about him trying to literally anyone that would come to our house when we would have guests over friends over stuff like that like it was just getting to a point where it was so stressful and so hard that we literally couldn't live our own lives because we were so worried about this dog killing someone in my house or killing one of our friends or something like that and then one day he lunged at my mom when my mom was wearing a towel because he didn't know who she was because my mom was wearing a towel on her head and like around her or whatever and he just lunged at her because if anybody was wearing something different that they normally wouldn't wear like a hat or glasses he would immediately flip a switch and try to get them and try to like him. It was insane, but I was always there to stop him because I literally spent every second of the day with him And I can imagine how close of a connection you guys thought we had like we had the closest connection in the world He was by far my best friend like I would do anything for this dog Like I spent ten thousand dollars training him. I did so much for this dog I tried every possible way to get this dog to stay in our house But it eventually came down to a point where a couple months later it happened again He attacked my dad again And we eventually just had to send him back to the breeder because that was the best option We didn't want to give him to anybody else besides the breeder because the breeder obviously knows what they're doing They work with these dogs all the day so currently Currently, guys, Max is actually with his mom and dad, and they send me pictures all the time. I'll put some pictures on the screen right there for you guys. But yeah, he's with his mom and dad, living good, and I'm just happy that he's alive. Because if these dogs bite somebody, guys, they're going to be put down right away, and I do not want my dog to be put down, and this was just the best decision we had to make. I know I spent $15,000 on him. It was worth it. Like, I got to spend time with him, but it was honestly the hardest thing in the world to give him away. Like, I was crying. I was depressed for weeks, if not months. Like, I would cry myself to sleep, or I would cry all day long for weeks at a time. Like, my my parents didn't know what to do like it was just the saddest thing in the world for me I cried for weeks or months straight just like the most depressing time of my life guys And it was just so insane So it just came to a point where we had to give him away and it was just the saddest thing ever guys like I remember
remember my last couple nights with him were like the saddest thing in the world. Like, I'm really getting goosebumps just talking about this. Like, I remember him just lying down my bed and like he had to look back to the airport because the breeder lived in Ohio, guys. And that's how we got him. They shipped him here, like in the dog part of the airport. And so that's what we were going to do. They actually moved to Florida since when they gave him to us. So we were trying to ship him back to Florida and he was too aggressive to even go on the plane. Like whenever they would try to pick up his crate, he would just go psychotic and try to bite them through the cage. And it was just too dangerous. So eventually we had to pay the breeder like $2,000 to drive from Florida to New York to come pick him up. And they brought him back to Florida with Max's mom and dad. And it was the saddest thing ever just watching him drive away. And it was just the most insane week of my life. Like I've never been so sad in my life, guys. You have no idea. But it's over now. It was two years ago. I have cash now and he's made me feel a lot better and just my new best friend and I'm glad I have cash because he takes my mind off of it. I would always just cry about this dog. Like, it was like, imagine losing your best friend, guys. Like, someone that you spent every second of the day with. Like, it's the saddest thing in the world and it's just so hard. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video because I'm just getting very emotional and I hate talking about this subject, but I thought you guys should know because it's just the most popular question on my YouTube channel. So, please, guys, show some love in this video. Drop a like, comment, subscribe with notifications on, or do whatever you want, but I don't care. I'm just happy this video is over with and filmed because now I can just go cry and just not have to worry about filming a stupid video. I hope everyone's happy. You found out what happened to Max. Oh, look, there's Cash. Come on, buddy. Hey, buddy. Cash, come on, buddy. Look, he's my best friend. He always lets me pet him. He loves this. Come on, Cash. Cash is the best. He's the best, happiest dog. I don't have to worry about him attacking anybody, which is good. But yeah, guys, there's a lot more I could say and explain, but I just really don't want to have to talk about it all. It was just the hardest decision in my life, and I'm glad I just got it all out of my chest, and I'm glad you guys finally know about it. You look at Cash right now, guys. He's just vibing. But yeah, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.